Alright, let's get it, guys. We're doing a Tempo of Sokwa Heroic Challenge. We have a level 9 hero with 3 points in the Swordsman, 3 in the Spiked Armor, 3 in the Toughness, 1 in the Flurry, and 3 in the Sam Warriors. It is a level 4 max, so go ahead and max out everything to level 4. And starting up this level, we have our Archer Tower in the center, two mage, or 3 Mage Towers on the left-hand side, and then Archer Tower on the right-hand side. And we're going to put a Barracks there as well. And then it'd be, well, go ahead and build an Artillery. Mage Tower at the bottom, get our Archer to level 3, and our Mage Tower is level 2. And then I actually go ahead and upgrade the Archer Tower on the right-hand side, all the way to level 4, spending all of our, most of our money, and then we're going to go <laughs> upgrade our Artillery Tower as well. So I can put our hero up to the center area, just like such. Go ahead and just plop your reinforcements down, get a good rate of fire early on, cheese out this first wave. And we should be able to get to the second wave fairly quickly. Just don't lose your hero, that's really the main thing I can say about this game. It, the... I, heroic challenge was pretty hard. It was, um, you know, we hadn't seen too many hard heroic challenges recently, but this is actually a pretty tough one. So you can see me running my hero back. It's pretty, he's pretty low on HP. So just make sure he doesn't die. If he, if he dies, you probably are going to lose, but you know, it depends how much flexibility you have. I, I barely get out of this alive. So you can see it's so hard if he dies. So the gorilla barely dies. It almost Almost gets away. It doesn't quite. I pop a quick barracks in the back on the left hand side. And I managed to snipe these birds who are getting away with the Necromancer Tower. We're going to put all our points into the um, Mage Tower at the bottom right. Or bottom left hand side, I should say. We have a level 4 artillery on the right hand side. So it's a tight level. I tried different variations. Um, I think the important part is just to have a mix of archery and Mage Tower on the left. And then that level 4 artillery on the right hand side is really, really key. The Archer Tower also helps because a lot of the guys you face don't have a lot of um, armor, so you can just get they get chunked down with the Archer Tower. But the Tricksters and then the guys who resist your magic, of course, they're going to come on the right-hand side. So it gets tight. You have to do a lot of microing, a lot of microing through barracks and whatnot, but we managed to get it. I would My hero is chilling out on the left-hand side, helping keep those gorillas in check. And then we get a Necromancer Tower now on the bottom right hand side of wave four going into wave five here we just get a lot of just constant streaming of the tribal guys all kinds of buffs coming out both the magic resist and the armor so you're definitely going to try to break that up with your reinforcements try to keep your hero alive as best you can he did die two times this game so it does show that you can you can lose your hero and not lose the game but if you're not ready for it and you don't have a really good defense then you will absolutely lose dark rider coming or dark knight i should say from the necromancer tower coming out on the right hand side and with the dps on the left we should be able to take care of all these birds that just keep streaming out we're mostly mostly concerned with the tribal guys on the right but thankfully for that archer, artillery tower the area damage with the scorched earth upgrade and then a good arena fire managed to kill out most of that stuff so this is the final wave they're gonna throw everything at you i just quickly upgrade archer tower on the right hand side go ahead and clear that up we should have three level four archer towers now and just putting points into the dps if you can manage to kind of weather the storm to this point it's just a matter of upgrading and spending your money and trying to get the max amount of damage out of your towers as possible. My hero managed to die again after tanking one of those gorillas, so just, ugh, you know, it happens. But I have a setup similar to this. The Necromancer Towers, of course, for the stalling, and then the Wizard Towers are going to be doing going, uh, doing really good DPS. I accidentally sell a Wizard Tower there. Uh, my goof. It doesn't really matter, though. Those guys are dead on the right, left-hand side. It's just all about this right-hand side, surviving that. Trickster and, thankfully, a couple Scorched Earths. Artillery, and that is game. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a good one.